Pete's a happy lad. Um, wakes up in the morning, happy, goes to bed, happy, always has been a happy lad. He uh, started suffering a little bit of pain. Um, initially we thought, yeah, it's sciatica. He was diagnosed with sciatica, so it was a case of rest. Unfortunately, after, after a period um, where people were suffering quite a bit, it was then diagnosed that he had cancer. That was when he was 15, he was diagnosed with cancer, and he lost Peter on New Year's Eve this year. So you're talking about a three-year period, which would initially make you think that must have been an awful three years. But it wasn't, we had a good three years, we had quite a good time. Over them three years, he missed four games here. Which is amazing, all the, all the treatments he had, he missed four games. Everton will do whatever they can to make sure you get to see the game. If you can get here, they'll, they'll accommodate you. The Teenage Cancer Trust, they helped out enormously. When they're looking after you, you don't know that the Teenage Cancer Trust are looking after you. They, what they do is very much in the background, if you like, but just ensure and keep an eye on you that you're okay. Yeah, they very much looked after Peter, and we're able to give him little boosts every now and then. We got to meet Noel Gallagher, um, which was great. Got to see a few concerts up and down the country. And through that, Pete, uh, his love of music grew to an extent that he, he started his own band. Like his first gig, he, he donated all, all his takings from his first gig to the Teenage Cancer Trust. Yeah, this was great. This was great. Leighton Baines came round to Pete's house and, and sat down and had a cup of tea, just, just as if he was your mate. He was, Leighton Baines was just an absolute superstar. Um, and then from that we, we came here, met, met a few more of the players, and we've been up to Finch Farm as well. Everyone and everything, they're just, they're just an amazing club, but you never told me, oh no, everything's an amazing club. If, if he could have performed, if he had a choice of stadiums to perform at, he'd have been here. And the, the idea that he's going to be performing in front of 30 or 1,000, he'll be, he'll be laughing, he'll be laughing, he'll be having a blast. He, for, for Peter, definitely. For his mum, definitely. And for me, it'd be great. It, it's tough, it's tough. A hundred teenagers every year across Merseyside, North Wales, will be diagnosed with cancer. Any monies that we can raise that, that helps with that. It would be there for, for Pete. It would be down to Pete helping out those who have helped him out. In, in effect, he is still with his role. He, he'll enjoy the day, but um, it'll mean a lot to him to, to be here. And again, it wouldn't have happened without Everton, without Teenage Cancer Trust. It wouldn't have happened without Peter. <laughs>